uh, the original topics were, uh, I think, are not suitable to be uh, talked about at this time. I was going to talk about um, traveling, uh, 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 the time converter helps for traveling, and uh, uh, the Joy-Cons help for delivering presentations to large audiences, which it's a bit difficult to do at this time. So, if, so this morning I, I decided to change the um, this the the presentation. So I <laughs> quite tired now, <laughs> but uh, and and I'll, I'll just deliver this uh, this this edition of this talk. Uh, so t today I'll I'll just cover six features of the time converter that are helpful in the current situation. Uh, the first feature of the time converter is offline support. Uh, so the time converter I built uh, works when you're offline after visiting it once. Uh, whereas uh, this, there's a nice there, there's a nice infographic here, um, but when you go offline, it this is what it shows you. Uh, there's you can there's also um, data you can use uh, here, uh, but if you go offline, uh, that's what you get, uh, and all all of these are the same. Um, but you can give these websites offline support as well. The next feature of the time converter. Uh, is the time that, that, that I'm going to talk about is the time converter itself, um, which looks something which looks like that, which is that uh, it's good for remote work. Uh, I, I use it. Uh, I'm using it now, so that's 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 why. Um, the third feature that I'm going to talk about is uh, how the time converter. The time converter uh, deals with offsets. So when I, when I when I started off, I I thought I'd put the offset at the I thought I put the offset there at the bottom, and then I decided. And then I thought maybe put it discreetly on the right would be better. Uh, but then you look you look at everything, and then. It's a bit confusing. Um, you have to do calculations, uh, but you, you don't really need to. What what and what happens if uh, when when you're on in a different time zone from your friends online? You just you just want the time right now, and so that's why it's like that. Uh, the fourth feature I'm going to talk about is mobile support. Uh, the time converter works on smartphone and desktop brow web browsers. The fifth feature is uh, DST. Um, so uh, you can you can tell if whether whether or not a time zone is in a DS, DST uh, by looking at the uh, the, the offset there. And there's a reminder if, uh, for if a time zone has DST, uh, if the time zone is affected by DST. The final feature of that I'm going to talk about is that the time converter is free and open source. And here are some possible improvements um, that that I <laughs> that should that would be nice to happen. Uh, Better location search, maybe um, accessibility support for low low price devices, uh, DST down to hour. Although um, that's a hard thing to do. Uh, format customization, as in like uh, maybe you want to do a different date date and time format, um, then you'll be able to customize that. And you can contribute or use the repository if you want to. Um, 
And that's the end of the talk. Aha. Now I see why well, you weren't worried about time. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's a cool little tool. Uh, I, sorry, go I, I'm, going, I'm going more in depth. I, I thought I'd... Because I'm giving a talk... I, I think I'm giving a talk next week about with the same title. And I thought I would go in depth um, about the code and the libraries I'm using and about time and I would discuss time itself like in more detail uh, but that might that talk next week might be, be cancelled I, I, I'm not sure about that <laughs> so, well I mean you've got 15 minutes is there anything in that area you wanted, wanted to describe you've got 15 yes. minutes Do you, would you like to describe any of that uh, no time uh like for example, I'm I'm using I N I A N A time zones, whereas I think there's an alternative. There's only one alternative, which is Microsoft time zones. I guess uh, that that's one example about, about things I looked at to before I, while while I built the the time converter originally. Uh, mm. So, so what's the trade-off there? I mean, I've sort of only ever used IANA time zones. Um, are there uh, are, are there different ones? I think I think the Microsoft ones are less updated compared to IANA, which is I think every every year or almost like it's INA IANA time zones are very they seem very updated. I suspect that it's rolling that as soon as legislatures make ch or regulators make changes that it gets updated and I know this because the Debian uh, group had to move time zones at one point into their ephemeral distribution because they were getting things like regulators or legislatures changing time zones a week before a change would go into effect and so if you had a time zone file that was six months old it was useless so yeah it, it's that's a that's a constantly evolving document. I'm I'm just intrigued what the trade-off is and why Microsoft is using. If you know, why Microsoft is using a different database. I'm I'm yeah I'm, I'm not sure about I'm not sure about that. Right. Ah, uh, gets. Please get, repeat. Uh, I, Please repeat I? the question. Please repeat the question. No, 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 no. Speaker, please repeat the question. Speaker, please repeat the question before you answer it. Oh, uh... I can't hear the question, and online people can't hear the question. So uh, say what the question was, and then answer it. What, what... What did... I think it's basically, what did I do to... to bring my website online? Oh, off, wait. Uh, give off, off, offline support to my web... to my... to the time converter. Uh... And uh, so, I use I use Gatsby, and and uh, it's it's basically to, to give offline support to to, to the time time converter I'm using now. I use like one one line of code. I think it's only like f something like four four words or something like that. And that's that's amazing because um, when uh, a few months ago or a year ago, I I use service workers. Um, the service worker API, and that and that was a lot a lot of work, and and Gatsby does it in in one uh, package install and uh, one 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 plugin one line one line added to the code base. Are there, are there any are there any more are there any more questions? You can. Uh, does anyone want to? S uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's if, ten, if you want to wrap, it's, if you want to wrap, it's fine to wrap. Um, right. Bring the next talk on in ten minutes. Um, nothing on yeah, the chat. I think so. I think for now. I, I think for now because because of the situation, it's okay. It, it's yeah, been, yeah, it's been more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> shrunk audience everywhere. Yeah, because of, because of the topics I picked <laughs> <laughs> for this for this time. Much appreciate. Thank you for the talk.